What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Haze Demon Show, and we are showcasing the newest developer update from South Park Phone Destroyer. Coming at you from Ubi Toller, the developer update, Dragons in the Air. Hey, everyone, it's me, Toller, and I'm here to bring you the freshest of South Park Phone Destroyer info this week, events. Welcome to another exciting week. We've got the Grown Ups Challenge going on now, which means assassins and fighters have increased health but decreased attack. We've also got a very special weekend event coming with a brand new legendary card. You guys may have seen it in the thumbnail and the title, so you already know. Team Wars is also ongoing. So make sure to collect your battle bottle caps and upgrade your cards before the battle days. Dragon Slayer Red has finally arrived to South Park. This new legendary is an absolute tank killer. And we're super excited for all of you to get your hands on her. This weekend's event will be a token collection event for the first time ever. Completing the solo portion of the event will guarantee a copy of the brand new card. Due to this time, due to this, the requirements will be a bit higher this week. So you're going to have to work a little harder than 925 points. We're about to see here in just a moment. But the ability, let's read it off here. It's a four co energy cost fantasy legendary. The third legendary for fantasy. The war cry. Have half the health and max health of enemies in front. Then half their attack for 10 seconds. So not only is she going to chop them in half she's also gonna make it to where they can't even attack very strong that is that is sounds quite powerful indeed no doubt about it and that, that artwork looks awesome the solo requirements and you know it's gonna be 1200 holy moly 300 extra points basically but it's gonna be worth it team rewards 22,500 so the team event is actually the same so it should be pretty easy for most people to be able to get it since most people should be finishing the solo this time that's right good luck to you guys odds and ends the following cards will be available everywhere on Friday previously only in PvP lockers PvP packs and shop packs Mr. Mackey, Mr. Slave, Satan, Alien Drone, and Santa Claus. Also, Swordsman Garrison and Classy have been added to PvP packs and PvP lockers. So this means I have less than five copies away from getting Santa Claus. This means that I will be able to purchase my final copies in the PvP shop. That is fantastic. And here we have the final mentions of the day from Buck. Many of you asked about the double loot chances that are now active during card use events. I looked into this and the percent chance is working as intended. However, there was an issue with the PvP tickets in lockers. This issue was noticed during the first 24 two times locker event. It was a visual bug that caused the animations to not play correctly. So many players were reporting they were not receiving those PvP tickets. So in order to reduce the confusion, the two times PvP tickets were removed until the bug gets fixed. So that would explain why nobody got two times PvP tickets because it was turned into a 0% chance for that particular item. That bug is scheduled to be fixed in our next update in April, 
so the PvP tickets and lockers will not be doubled until that fix goes out. This is something I should have communicated and I missed it. For that, I apologize. There will be a few more two times locker events before that fix goes out, so it's important to keep in mind that the two times chance on all lockers with PvP tickets will be 0%. So if you expect it, it's not going to happen. But everything else is still possible the legendaries, the materials, all that stuff is still possible to get the two times loot out of the locker. So that's alright, I guess. Alrighty, so we are going to go over the top 25 teams. I think that's not a bad idea. Just to give a shout out to everybody putting in the effort. All those crowns over there. Free to play Wales, 1,074 crowns. They have 22 more than Illuminati. They've got it actually really close to each other. Gunning for it. Not very far behind them either is Dire Tide. Followed by Chef's Elites, Tidal Wave, Skink Hunt 42, F em to Death, Riot, TMIs, Delete Facebook, The Goonies, So Super Serial, Mercenaries with three threes, 420 Towlies 2, Greek Gods, Shezawan Sauce, Coon Goon Squad 2, French Family, SP Elites, Swagalicious, German Elite, Cows and Aliens, Chaos Brigade, Elite Revolt, Member Berries, and Austrian Null. That's going to be the top 25 current teams in the world. Congratulations, guys. You guys are awesome. And that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe and a comment down below. And if you haven't joined the Hayes Demon Show Discord, please do. In order to get that direct notification for whenever we go live. But that's going to be it, guys. Peace out. Don't forget to bring a towel. Shut up, Mimsy. Ha, 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 ha.